it's so hard in this game. I'm so tired of the rain. I'm so tired of the pain. I'm so tired of the rain. It's so hard in this game. I'm so tired of the rain. I'm so tired of the pain. I'm so tired of the rain. So I move to the south. Let me tell you what I'm about. This the life that I'm living. I won't live the doubt. I will always wear my mouth. I'm the king of the south. Got dreams rolling on chest. We will let it blow away All them motherfucking Yankees to the north Y'all should stay I won't leave my plug Got the heat burning in my veins I will always be a soldier Like a fucking body gang The way that I can stop I let go of all my pain There's way too much to live Let the heaven live and save Alright, enough with that Hey, it's been a long time Listen, I'm gonna be uh, getting rid of a lot of this footage for you guys This is some old footage Um... For starters, I missed you guys. Been through a lot. Um, I will be posting a video, you know, kind of like a comeback, hello kind of thing, pretty soon. But let's get into this and drop some of this old material off to you guys. Uh, first and foremost, let's get it out of the way. This is not a few uh, perfect uh, tattoo of any sorts by any means. Um, it was just quick, and I had to do what I had to do. So let's get off to it. I want to say hi to everybody. Uh, it's been a while. As most of you know that I've had a couple of tragic experiences in this past uh, eight months. And now there's a couple of people above me watching and shedding light down upon me. One of their wishes was for me to go at this full bore ahead. And that's what's uh, going to happen. Um, it's going to be a little different this time. I'm going to be in control of a lot of things. Let's start this commentary, though. This is a simple, uh, traditional anchor, not my design. Something I just wanted to slam on the leg real quick. Right here, what I'm doing is I'm using, um, A little lighter blue um, for the diamond part of this. Um, I don't remember what needle I'm using. I believe at this point it's a seven round shader. And I'm uh, dropping it in with eh, semi circles and then some sketching action motion. When you do that, what I've noticed is that. Um, it allows for a lighter variety okay you're traumatizing the skin a little bit more but if your objective is a lighter um, proportion on top of that skin like what I'm doing then it's okay they'll tell you not to do that and that's why they call it scratching but that's bullshit um, when you watch people layer their work on top of colors and they're layering over layering over layering the objective is minimize trauma okay and um, as you can see there's no blood and I mean I will post a picture of this tattoo um, pretty soon if you guys want to see it it's just as vibrant and bright as when it was completed now there are some screw-ups in there I do have one blowout on um, I believe if you're looking at this here right now, it, that would be on the left heart uh, part of the anchor that you're looking at. Um, and you could probably see where that's at. It's right on that little edge on the left, dropping down. Now, the top portion of the anchor, where the wood you know, portion of that anchor is, was intended to be thicker than the rest and it's exactly how the image was um, and I wanted to portray that and so uh, with that um, you know, like I said it's not a perfect thing and of course it would be a lot better on someone else I really just rushed through this one um, did a lot of single pass and when you see me and it looks like I'm going over another line um, people that don't know what they're talking about are going to tell me 
down below on these comments that, uh, oh, I bet you it was uh, sliced and diced and oh my God. Actually, it's like wake up and smell the coffee. You smell this? What kind is it? Uh, it's coffee. Not a bong hit, people. Listen, what I was doing was I was going next to the line to make it a little thicker. With the lighter trick and lining, um, you can do a lot of things that a lot of the quote pros unquote and a couple of these haters around here, um, shit, we won't even get into the new ones that I've seen. Oh, God, you probably already know. I'm not even going to waste my time on it. I'm shooting for a multi-million dollar company and a multi-million people movement. <laughs> I have no time for clumps and chumps and to run around the bump my head again. It's not going to happen. All right? This is the real cage. Is it the real you? Indeedy. Listen. So, without further I want a lot of you guys come over to my Facebook page. It's going to be facebook.com uh, backslash cage yaka. Right now, I think that I made this. No, no, no. Just take it back. Yeah, it is. It's a little bit of yellow, a little bit of orange, a little bit of white. I'm dipping in the white as I go, making my own pigment as I go within and letting the needle mix that in there. Because if you looked at the uh, initial, um, the initial picture of this, it's a it's a darker, orangish type thing. So when you get to know your colors, you could really just dip and go. A lot of the the famous cats out there do you know like Devries and and uh, Barth and all them. They they when you see the end of their their session and the cups, those cups are ridiculous. Those guys are so freaking genius that they're mixing in their head as they go they, they don't need to mix colors i mean they're seriously dipping in this one dipping in that one dipping in over here and then letting the needle mix it and it comes out with their color that's kind of what i'm doing here not on that level but that's what i'm doing to build that uh that color there because it's not a stock color uh, these are all fusion inks and, uh, of course, I'm using, I believe, yes, this is the Joey D. Um, no, I'm sorry, I take that back. I, okay, yeah, these coils are mine. You guys have seen those before. It's a shorty on the back and the rack on the stack. It's a half-inch coil on the back and then the uh, full one-inch on front. The liner was really good. What I've noticed is when you spread your gaps and you spread your needle and you spread uh, the dead space between the back of the A-bar and your rear deck, you have a, a much better liner. Now, a lot of you guys probably want to have the high-speed top dog, Speedy Gonzalez type liner. Listen, hand speed match the... Uh, speed of the machine now if you need to slow that down because your hand movements and you're not confident enough then you need to slow that machine down just because the machine's running faster doesn't mean you're going to produce more solid uh, lines no it just means you're going to slice that skin up more and cause more trauma to the skin swelling pushing out of the ink um, a lot of you guys are asking how to keep the swelling down it's pretty obvious and known go to walmart pick yourself up some bactine uh, it's pretty cheap Use that during the duration and process of your tattoo, and you will be fine. Once you start swelling, ladies and gentlemen, once you start and the client starts swelling the skin, you're causing too much trauma, and it will drop out, and it will not heal properly. Because once it starts swelling, it, you're indicating that uh, to the body that there is a problem. The objective in tattooing, what I've come together, is let the body not know that it's being injured and that a foreign object is being inserted. That goes with the ink and the needle. The objective is to keep and minimize the swelling. That is why some people probably come in intoxicated or on painkillers because, and I guarantee you those people probably have the best looking tattoos um, due to the fact that, let's put it this way, the human body is controlled by sensory channel and, and sensory 
senses, okay? And the nerve endings. If your brain doesn't know that it's in pain, then your body cannot react. Uh, all you military cats out there, law enforcement guys, you guys all know what I'm talking about. When you're, for instance, um, if you didn't have pain to advise your mind that you were in pain and in trouble and that your body was, you would not have, you know, you'd be chopping your fingers off and screwing your body up really bad. The point of this, what I'm trying to make is the less swelling that you can introduce to the body while, can you know, given a tattoo, the better it's going to tell the mind and the body that it's not foreign once it swells and it tells the body there's a problem going on it's going to push that out it's all a matter of science and that's physical relativity that's uh freaking you guys know what i'm talking about all right it's it's bio it's human body and how it's designed like a computer program my point is is minimize that swelling. Bactine helps a lot. Um, you look at Mario Barth, he doesn't even raise the skin. He doesn't even produce a freaking scratch on the surface. He digs in, digs out, and I mean it's basically healed when the people leave. That's how you want it, and it is possible. Um, I haven't got there yet, but obviously that's what we're all here for. Um, so, right now, I'm just uh, doing just common fill. Small circles, maybe figure eights. Um, you can cross weave or hatch if you want to. Uh, that's where people get confused. They think that it's, oh, I don't want to scratch, like I'm, I'm etching or I'm sketching. That's not what it's about. It's, it's about the trauma to the skin. That's all it's about. Okay, it, once you hamburger meat and chop that skin up, it produces scab. Once scab is produced on a deeper level, past the first four or five layers of skin, into the, uh, the dermis, that's when you have problems with healing. Now, you've heard of cookie scabs. You've heard of big, thick, nasty scabs. Sometimes it's okay to have that. I, I would rather not because it's a longer healing process but I mean I've seen I've even had on my body and gone too deep on purpose to see what the scabbing would be like typically it's with uh, deeper shading gradients or um, lighter colors and if the scab is prematurely taken off then you lose a lot of your ink and that's the problem it's a dropout now there's a lot of ways to do this guys a lot of ways I'm telling you right now it is mostly your tools that you're using people could say it's your technique and all this and this and this and this blah 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 if if you don't have the tools to do the job you're gonna have a shitty job bottom line we can go back and forth for a billion years because I've been here for a thousand Wait until you see, if I grow out my goat, how white I've become in the last eight months. Listen, so what's the objective? What do we want to do? We want to produce the cleanest, most realistic or unrealistic art on the human body via tattoo needle system and inks, okay? You have to do that with proper tools. I hear a lot of people still talking about Chinese this and Chinese that. Listen, everything on a Chinese machine is shit. Even the geometry of the frame design. They try to copycat real, you know, geometrical designs of um, pro builders. But listen, the rear deck's wrong. The geometrical patterns and shapes on the front binding and the rear deck and all the way down to the grooves um, that are needed on your coil settings and uh, placements is wrong, ladies and gentlemen. Stay away from Chinese shit. Now, yeah, you can line some letters with some Chinese shit. You can do some mediocre type things with Chinese shit. I can guarantee you 110 that you will not do anything above those 
with Chinese materials. And if you are using Chinese ink or Taiwanese ink, you're in trouble. I've got that stuff in my body and I want it out. They are literally using tap water to cut this stuff with. Now, you don't have to mark my words for it. You don't have to trust me or believe me. Believe what you want. But uh, my mother just passed from cancer. And I have woken up to the possibilities of this shit in this world. And I have a new profound disregard to the cancer virus. Yeah, virus. It's nasty, guys. And uh, rest in peace, mother. I love you. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that you're gone. You were too young. I love you. I'm I'm so sorry. <clears throat> but um, yeah, that was a couple weeks ago. So I'm just, you know, I'm glad to be back here. Uh, I I. There's just a lot of work to be done, guys. So, all right, past that point. Let's see now. What I'm doing is um, I'm probably running this. At, my liner that I have here with the shorty and the candlestick is probably running at about 6 volts. Uh, locked and loaded and dipped in. So I'm probably running this at 6. Um, the depth is probably a little bit past the nickel. Um, yes, you can use the nickel and dime theory. That's how everybody first trains and learns. They say, well, that's the old school mentality. Motherfucker, what do you think has changed since then? The needles haven't changed much. They've added more to the bar. The design and, and the symmetrical patterns and shapes and geometrical design of the fucking coil tattoo machine has not changed in eons. So please, people, stop coming up here and saying, well, that's the old way of doing things. Jesus, they made it happen, didn't they? Sometimes... It's good to stick with the older mentality because look at the world today, ladies and gents. We are stuck on Facebook. We are stuck on Instagram. We are stuck on YouTube. We are stuck on stupid. Our kids are being babysat by TV programs and indoctrined and straight up just radio frequencyed out. We no longer sit together as a family and we no longer... Uh, stroll through the park without looking down at your freaking phone. Am I correct? Sometimes it's good to have technology, but sometimes it really hurts. And it's hurting us. It's another freaking topic and video. Right here, right now, the main objective is to get this channel back up and strolling, rolling, get it going full blowing. You hear my phone, it just, that's ridiculous, and it doesn't stop. But what that means is that there's interest, and when there's interest, my eyes are open. And when my eyes are open, that means that I am going to push forward, and it is you, my fans. I won't say followers, because all of you that I know are leaders, as I. There are some people on YouTube that are trying to exemplify and re-pioneer what has been pioneered by myself. Not gonna happen. I won't mention any names because it's not worth it. Trust me, it's not worth it. Now, we're gonna take this shit to a whole entire level. We're not gonna dance with the devil. We are going to go forward with the movement and P9Customs.com. I would like to see you all over in Facebook reissue, reorganize, reimplement, and design the movement while I work on P9 Customs and get you some of the best fucking tattoo supplies on this planet. That's what's going to happen. And I'm going to see it through. And you guys are going to help me while I help you. Just like the front. Now here, red and especially what I've noticed about Fusion Red, and let me, let me go back real quick before I just talk your ass off. Fusion and Eternal Ink are not the same. I'm going to say it again because of what was said by an idiot. Mainstream. 
Fusion and Eternal Ink are not the same. The consistency of the pigment is different. One is thicker, one is thinner. Eternal is thicker, Fusion is thinner. The chemicals utilized in there as cuts are different. The thing that is the same with Fusion and Eternal is the chemist, which I am in hopes to hiring that chemist for P9 ink line in the very, very, very far future. I say far because it takes a lot of freaking money to come up with your own ink line, but that is what I want to do. Now, a lot of misconceptions on a couple of people's new channels. Scratch it, dude. Get rid of it. Take what you need from it. Jump back over to my channel and let's do the damn thing. I am not the greatest artist in the world. I am pretty much self-taught from scratch. I don't know everything. I have read books. Uh, I make mistakes. I have blowouts. Look at the top of my leg. I have scratch marks. That bomb that you see there was done with Chinese gun and Chinese ink. Or I think that may have been India ink. That was done, I believe, about 95, 96. Haven't touched it again. I leave certain things just to look at it so I can see how far I've come and progressed. I will tell you guys this. Each one of you needs to tattoo your thigh or tattoo your body part because you need to feel, if you haven't already, what it feels like so that you know when to stop with your clients. You know what it feels like. In law enforcement, military, things of that nature, when you go and you train for the weaponry, you have to experience the weaponry. To be tased, to be gassed, to be OC'd, to be you know sprayed down or hit with a baton. The reason for this is psychological. Because you need to know when to stop. Or what you're doing wrong. Now, when you're tattooing yourself, it, it takes on a different shape. It's because you're anticipating the next needle into the skin. Therefore, you, you your mind obviously wants to back up and hesitate. Well, you know what they say, hesitation will get you killed. Well, in this case, hesitation will just fuck you up. Just dig in there and go. I mean, it's going to be a lot more painful because you're doing it to yourself. That I will say that. But you have to. If you guys have not already done this to yourself and tattooed yourself, you need to. It's something as an inspiring new artist that you really need to feel and do. You have to do it. All right. So if you haven't, do it. Do it quick before you start touching people. Um, you know, right here, I am basically, I believe it's the same thing, seven round shader probably, and I'm uh, dropping it in there. Um, when the needle's locked and loaded without uh, depressing the armature bar, I believe on this certain case, on rounds, I stick my needle out barely to where you can barely feel it with your finger. On mags, I typically let the needle up inside the tube really really a small gap there I mean it's barely up above the tube I don't let my needles hang on mags um, so it's just how I do things obviously you wanna you wanna attack this at a at an angle and inject that into the skin so that it doesn't pop straight up vertically out of your pores you're going in at an angle so that it kinda injects it sideways you just have to look at it on a scientific, physical uh, realm of things. Um, with lighter colors, and people ask about white a lot. Look, white is very tricky. It's not. It was never intended to be um, a color. It was just a highlight, and um, white is intended basically to just highlight darker spots and mediums to to bring it out, and make it pop. Um, with white, you have one shot at white. You can't layer white. You can't dig white. You can't. Basically, you get your white in there and you get out. Also, minimize your white because almost all whites will turn yellow under the first sun ray that hits it. You give it uh, a couple of days in the summer sun, I guarantee you it's going to turn yellow and it's just not going to look the way that it needs to. They all look good in the beginning, but uh, I'm glad to see my phone's popping off now. That's good. Um, I guess everybody knows I'm back. So, yeah, you see the scratch marks there. You see the uh, Freemason logo there. 
don't start no rumors, all right? Um, I do come from a family of Freemasons, but there's nothing wrong with that. Um, it's a whole different story. But you see the, those are scratches. Those are really shitty tattoos. Um, there were attempts that failed. But that's okay. That's what my leg's for. Just like my arm. All right. Um, basically, there's not much to explain here. You guys already know what's up. There's some minimal swelling there. It's in a real bad spot. When it touches the side of that kneecap, I trust me, you're going to feel that right there. And you really got to know what you're doing around that area because it will blow out real, real quick. Um, it didn't come out perfect, but it came out the way it came out and actually healed perfectly within a couple of days and it still looks like that right now after about what six seven months um i didn't really put a lot of work into this i just wanted to do something quick for you guys and i did so um a lot of people will say well you blew this out or you blew that out or you, you overworked this area i know what my skin can take because it's my body and i didn't rip any part of that not not one of that part of that scabbed up and not one part of that um, dropped out. So really, don't speak unless you ask me. Ask me if it fell out. Ask me if it scabbed up. Ask me if I blew it up. I'll tell you. Because I already have told you I'm not the greatest artist in the world, nor do I know everything. I can teach better than I can do myself. But uh, hey, guys, I'm glad to see that a lot of you are still on board. We're going to re-implement the movement, the structure, the plan of it. We're going to really move this forward. Um, uh, right here, I'm just I'm dropping some shadows on top for some dimensional whatever. I think I was basically just like more or less experimenting. It wasn't tearing my body up at all. I was just layering right there, going real light, and I'm barely just hitting the first three layers of skin um, because what it'll do is it'll, it'll lighten up a lot. 30 to, you know, 40, 40 to 50 percent sometimes, uh, most of the time, typically it's about 45, 50 percent dropout and lighter as the skin heals itself and um, comes through. And here's another thing. Yes, unscented lotion for the first three days. After the first three days are done, three times a day, let it air dry. Let it take its natural healing process. Don't touch it. And um, during the process of the of the tat, use minimal petroleum. Petroleum does, and I will repeat, it does kick out ink. Trust me. Put petroleum on a colored tattoo and watch how much goo comes off in the shower. Put Curel lotion on and see how much doesn't. At, proof is in the pudding, okay? So there's no reason to even argue that. Uh, if you guys are looking for something to argue about, you guys know, go to the other dude's channel, man. Because <laughs> the rants and raves and all the BS, I'm just not going to even respond. I'm so on a different level now. I'm reaching for the sky. I'm reaching for the sky. Follow me, hate me, love me, fuck me, fuck you. It's all the same thing. But I love everybody. There's not much to say here. Um, I'll do better as I go with another tattoo. I had to do kind of like an over-documentary thing here, commentary, because I didn't talk through this whole thing. I was just getting it done. I'm wrapping it up with uh, sealing it with some uh, Curel lotion there. And for the healing process, I believe. No, I think I'm just cleaning it. Anyways, I'm going to speed this next portion up um, and get through with this video. I will see you guys soon. I am back, hopefully for good. Um, let's get it popping. Let's do it. Sooner than later.